Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, we're still hovering above 71k or just fighting with the 71k level. Bitcoin dipped briefly below the upper support region. It was not a sustained break though and found support in the lower support region. Yeah, so at the moment support levels are still holding and the support, yeah, the support levels we talked about in the previous video um, because they didn't break I, the upper one but not sustained and the lower one acted as support because of the support level still holding we have no confirmation for a substantial top yet okay so the risk of a substantial top isn't gone but the fact that it was all bought up again very very quickly and we did not even sustain below the upper support region can you just see the wick it not even an hourly candle closed below it yeah 30 minute did and then just recovery in the next 30 minute candle but um, yeah, just a just a reversal. You could say a bullish reversal. At least it appears like one at the moment. Situation therefore hasn't really changed on the chart. There was a brief moment of panic, but yeah, just look at support. And as long as it's holding, the previous scenarios remained remain valid. What did we talk about in the previous video? Where well, we said that we are looking for a wave four pullback, either in the white count or in the yellow count. In the white count, ideally the price would not have broken below the 50% FIB level, even though technically valid, um, because it could be a, um, it could be an ending diagonal in the C wave. Therefore, I still leave it on the chart, this scenario in white. And we didn't get a sustained break. So either here this wave four was expected or the wave four into the lower support region with one more high. I still think the entire structure would look better with one more high, at least one more high, maybe two in the white count, but the break of the upper support region, even if not sustained, makes me favor the yellow count, okay? That yellow count allowed for a deeper wave two, wave four pullback, and then just one more high in wave five, which should be an ABC structure, possibly towards 76K or mid 70K region, yeah? Um, we can now calculate that target, assuming the intraday low is holding. I have to assume that, otherwise, you know, we don't get to a target. But if we calculate that, we take the length of waves one and three together, we go to the intraday low, which is the low of the wave four. And again, it might not be very precise because, you know, you, you might that wick, because it happened so fast, might be different on different exchanges. So, but anyway, the first target would be 74K, 74,170. And then the second target at 77.8K. Both are possible. Roughly mid 70K region, yeah, for a wave five. And um, only if we get a break below the 61.8 retracement level there of the lower support region, we have to assume that a larger pullback is unfolding. Then I would assume that circle wave three in red, basically this entire move should end with this circle three in red, um, that this is already done, already complete, possible, or that this is just some kind of a high, weird, very weird high B wave, um, and that circle four is already unfolding. Either way, it would mean that if we break below that support region here, below the 66,526 level, it would be good confirmation that we are coming down into the mid 50K region for a deeper pullback. But that's not confirmed at this stage. And I posted it already for channel members earlier today, because I know there is always a bit of emotion, a little bit of panic when we see a bit of a pullback. But I highlighted that I don't want to confirm that a top is in place and a more substantial pullback is unfolding until I have concrete confirmation. Same I did say in the Ether video, because the pattern over recent months was very clearly that we only get shallow pullbacks. Okay, only shallow pullbacks. The market will sort of change its face a little bit if we get the first deeper pullback again. At the moment, everything is just being bought up and we're still holding above 70K. I find trading in this area up there risky. Why? Well, you can set tight stop losses, but with pullbacks like these, you get thrown out. Yeah, that's the problem. This is a pattern. I did say that it's an ending diagonal probably and these diagonals are more difficult to trade because you get deep pullbacks and you get pullbacks when you not necessarily expect them and if you trade with tight stop losses you get just kicked out and it reverses again and it's just not it's also not a great great price range to trade I think I mean from a trading point of view yeah I mean it doesn't matter you just move the range right but 
still it's not very it's not not great setups up there yeah um in diagonals you know way four pullback nothing very clear on the bitcoin chart so my personal strategy is at the moment holding on to my coins and waiting for clearer setups they will for sure soon appear yeah that's my update about bitcoin hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye